According to superposition principle, the net displacement of the resultant wave in y of xt equals to y1 of xt plus y2 of xt equals to r sine of omega t minus kx plus r sine of omega t minus kx plus phi. Using the trigonometrically relation sine alpha plus sine beta equals to 2 cos alpha minus beta by 2 into sine alpha plus beta by 2. We get y xt equals to 2r cos phi by 2 sine omega t minus kx plus phi by 2. Equation 1. This equation shows that the resultant wave is also sinusoidal wave traveling along the same positive direction of x-axis. However, the phase angle of resultant of wave is phi by 2 wrt either wave and its amplitude is r equals to 2r cos phi by 2 equation 2 if phi equals to 0 is the two waves r phase in then from equation 1 equation of resultant wave is y of xt equals to 2r sine of omega t minus kx. The amplitude of the resultant wave is 2r, which is largest possible as shown in figure. If phi equals to pi, that is, the two waves are out of phase by 180 degree, then from 2, the equation of resultant wave is y of xt equals to 0. This is shown in figure. Three important applications of superposition principle are 1. Stationary waves 2. Beats 3. Interference of waves The principle of superposition applies equally well to electromagnetic waves. For example, radio waves of many frequencies pass through a radio antenna. The electric current setup is antenna by the superposed action of all these waves are very complex. Nevertheless, we can still tune to a particular station the signal that we receive from it being in principle the same as that which we would receive if all the other stations were to stop broadcasting. Likewise, in sound, we can listen to notes played by individual instruments in an orchestra, even though the sound wave reaching our ears from the full orchestra is very complex.